Welcome to Dram Fine Whiskey, my name is Matt and today we're looking at the Tawny Port finished malt whiskey coming out of Wayward Spirits here in Ireland. Now let me get this into the glass and I'll tell you all about it. This is a malt whiskey rather than being a single malt whiskey, which means it has been sourced from a variety of different distilleries around here in Ireland by Wayward, and what they've done is they've finished it in a variety of different casks to give it a really unique character. In this case, they're using tawny port casks, which is going to give you a lot of flavour. It's going to give you a lot of dark fruits, spicy cloves, really rich sweetness, and it's a really good way to finish a whiskey. In fact, it's one of my favourite ways to finish a whiskey, so I'm really excited to get into this class. Now, Wayward Spirits don't intend on sourcing their whiskey forever. In fact, they've got really big plans for the future. Down in their Lakeview estate, which is in Killarney, which is in the south of Ireland, they're planning on growing their own barley, malting it, mashing it, fermenting it, distilling it, and then aging it all in barrels, all within their own Lakeview estate. I think that's a really great project. I'm really excited to see what they come out in the future because it means they're gonna have a real grain to glass experience where you can see where the barley came from and how it ended up in your glass. But for now, what we've got is a range of really great finished whiskies. This is the Tawny Port, it's their inaugural release. It's bottle number 40 out of 700 total bottles. But since this inaugural release, they've come out with a couple of different releases and they've come out with a few new batches of this release. So it's actually getting much easier to find this whiskey. And I, for one, am very glad of that because the way to my heart is with a port finished whiskey. So let's get into the nose on this one. Okay, you, I'm getting a lot of candy orange peel on the nose. That kind of tart orange that's been coated in sugar that's been really allowed to sit there, really become like sweet and densely sugared, that kind of sweetness on the nose. There's also some nice mild spice, think kind of clove spice, don't think cinnamon, think like that kind of rich earthy spice you get from cloves. There's also some rich stone fruits, that kind of plum or apricot, and you think of that fruit that you bite into that's just full of really sticky, really sweet juice, that kind of sweetness is on the nose really pleasant. There's, there's maybe a little bit of cocoa powder in there, like kind of a light cocoa, like a, like a dusting of cocoa powder over the top of some fruit. It's very nice. It's very approachable and friendly. It's coming in at 46% alcohol, so it's not going to be too strong. It's not going to be overpowering you on the nose. It's going to allow you to kind of get in there and get to know it. So let's go for the palate. On the palate, there's a really nice kind of barley taste, really nice rich kind of earthy flavours coming through. There's a lot more of that stone fruit, more of the spice, a little bit more of the cocoa powder. It's a little bit kind of tannic, the same way you get with a red wine, the same way you kind of poor finished whiskies can sometimes get, but the juiciness from that fruit, the sweetness, the really rich syrupy sweetness kind of comes through and it really makes sure your cheeks don't feel like they've been too dried out, like you've been drinking a really harsh red wine. This is a, it's a very pleasant sipping whisky. On the second go around, the barley is still apparent, there's still a lot of flavour. It's kind of juicy, I do say that word a lot when I'm talking about port finished whiskies. There is a lot of flavour, there's a lot of kind of dark stone fruits, that kind of berries, maybe like little blackberries in there. There's not really a lot of tropical fruits in this whisky, at least for me. There's a lot more of that kind of earthy sweetness, the kind of sweetness, the berries that you'd use for a jam or for a tart, that kind of nice, rich, dense, syrupy sweetness. And now let's try for the finish. Yeah, so those big, bold, kind of rich, juicy flavours, they don't really hang around too much on the finish. What you get instead is that kind of spiciness, the clove spice kind of comes back up to the front. You get a little bit more of that cocoa powder, that kind of tannic note. The sweetness is still there, definitely. Like the juice might be gone, but it's left a lot of sweetness behind. That kind of syrupy, almost honey-like sweetness that kind of just coats your mouth and just kind of sits with you and lingers with you for a while. There's not a huge evolution in this whiskey. It kind of fades out. It doesn't go through a lot of changes. It is a nice whiskey though. There's a lot of flavor here. There's a lot to enjoy about this whiskey. I think for a first go round with finishing whiskies, I think they did a very good job on this whiskey. Like I am really looking forward to seeing what they come up with when they're able to control the entire process, when they go from grain to barrel, from barrel to bottle, and from bottle to glass. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more tasting notes like in the future, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, sláinte.